Hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Erin and I like to do many different things on my channel including makeup videos, movie reactions, book reviews, and talking about books. So if you're interested in any of those topics, just think about subscribing down below. Hit the like button for this video in particular if you enjoyed it by the end. And today we're going to be just doing a regular, regular haul, uh, makeup haul since the Sephora sale is, uh, well, it's currently still going on. I don't know when this video is going up. Hopefully like very soon after I film it but um so yeah I've just got all of the products that I bought for my first order my second order has not came in yet I was trying to wait for it but I don't want it to be like irrelevant by the time it gets here but I'm definitely going to do a video trying these products but I wanted to just do like a nice haul video I haven't done one in quite a while and I I enjoy haul videos so that's what we're doing here today if you you know want to keep seeing if you want to see what I got from the Sephora sale, then right, just so keep going. I already watching. talked about some a lot of these products, most of them, uh, when I did my recommendations slash what I bought. But it's always fun to kind of show the products. And um, so these are the things I got. I got the Daily Refresh. I knew I was going to get this because, like I said, I already had one, which is almost gone. And I needed to refresh on it. So that'll be put to good use, especially because I'm struggling to wash my brushes right now. November, December for teachers is just, it's rough. Um, I also got the Sephora Rouge Fondant Click. These are just so nice. Um, I already had this color and I just throw this on all the time. And then I picked up this one. This one's a bit of a more darker berry color. So I'm very excited. I really like the formula of this. Sephora does have some really good hidden gems and just some really great products overall. Um, but this is definitely one I'm excited about. So it's like the clicky kind. You can pull it up. I already have lip product on, but let's see. Hmm, they kind of give some color, but they're very much, very much sheer. I'm pretty sure you could build it up a little bit more, but they're very sheer, but the formula is beautiful. So that's the fondant lip thing. I also got the Milk Makeup Hydro grip eye primer and I'm just really curious about this one can't wait to try this one out because um, if it's anything some I don't think it's going to be extremely similar to their uh, primer oh gosh I'm breaking the box but um yeah looks like this oh the packaging is really cute it very much is similar to the uh, primer the face primer which I do own I own a mini size of it I'm, I'm a weirdo I'm gonna smell hmm I don't like that smell <laughs> but um, I want to try this out for sure and you know, it says you can use it for your eyelids and your under eyes so that's gonna be the real test but well, that's quite a different so we'll put that to the okay, test I also video. got the rare beauty perfect stroke mascara now I got this in a mini because I don't want to be having too many uh, mascaras which I bought two mascaras this time but they're both minis so I figured it wouldn't be too bad it's like buying a full one full and the other mini I got is the Urban Decay Perversion which is probably my favorite mascara and then the Vera Beauty one I have not tried as of yet so we'll be trying this one out in a video I'm not gonna open both of those at the same time though since this one is basically I already know the formula um, I'm just gonna put this one up for you know later on probably open it up next year when I'm done with some of the mascaras that I'm using right now I also got with some of my points I wanted to try the melt lipsticks but I didn't want to buy a full size of it because uh, there are matte and I don't love matte lip products but um, I got this cute little tiny I mean it is it is tiny uh, lipstick and just to try out the formula look at how tiny that is this is something I could definitely pan. Like lip products are so hard to pan, but this little thing definitely could. And I got this one in the shade 710. I don't know if it has another name, but it looks like a really nice color. And I can try out the formula without buying a full size of the product. And I have so many lip products. I don't really need any more. This order, like I said, I still have the face palette from Natasha Denona coming. I don't know when it will be here. It I bought it on the same day, but the shipments are coming at different times I think something else I bought also is um not here yet yeah my liquid eyeshadow I bought is not going to be here either right now so this these things came first but this is the ordinary direct acids glycolic acid um, seven percent toning solution and I've already owned this before so 
since this is not new to me, but I wanted to repurchase it in order. Yeah. So it's such a big bottle too. This lasts a long time, like a really long time. So, and it's so affordable as well. So you really only need to buy it like once a year, probably less than that. Uh, I don't know if it expires though. Does it expire? Yeah, so 12 month lifespan, so once a year. So that's why I bought this one actually, because I still have some in the old bottle, but it's definitely been over a year since I bought it. And then the last thing I got, the last thing I got was the Milk Makeup um, Matte Bronzer. And I've been wanting to try this for the longest time. So I have it here. This is in the shade Blaze. It is so tiny. I did order a mini, but this was $20 still. It's kind of so tiny. I wonder how much product it has in it. If I were to compare it. So it has 19 ounces or 5.7 grams. Let me pull out just any. I mean, like. Bronzer. Like, I know this is not the same type of stick formula formulation, but. I'm just wondering because this is also $20 I believe and so okay so this has 16 ounces 